Next punch we're gonna cover is the hook. As before, everything flows from a good stance. So getting your set up, Corey throws the jab, follows it with a cross. After throwing the cross, Corey's going with a hook. To do this, he's gonna bring the back foot in so his feet are in a quarter past 12 position. Bringing his feet closer together makes it easier for him to turn his hips and bring in a more powerful shoulder turn and thereby a more powerful hook. Note the position of the arm at the end of the punch. It's bent at a right angle. We always start with the left hook as opposed to the right as it's the nearest to the target and makes a good follow up to the straight right. Note how Corey gets his feet a little closer together to throw the hook. This allows for stronger, faster hip rotation, the key to a really powerful hook. The three key points to remember on the hook all start with H. First of all, there's the heel, which is gonna go up. The hip is gonna go around, and the hand is gonna go straight into the bag with the arm at a right angle. Once the left hook is working, try following it up with a right hook, but always have the non-hitting hand drawn back for protection. 